Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Darren Breen, Director of iMedicare Limited. We're a specialist device supplier. Our motto is Pelvic Health Naturally, and we try to improve the quality of life for patients with pelvic health problems. Today, we're here to inform you about easy to apply, effective and safe solutions for the management of stress and athletic urinary incontinence in women. We seek to positively impact women's health by providing new options and better solutions to common and often under-prioritized areas. So what is stress urinary incontinence? The unintentional leakage of urine during increased pressure on the abdomen. Increased pressure occurs during coughing, laughing, jumping, sneezing, and physical exercise. It is the most common urinary incontinence amongst women. It occurs when the pelvic floor is weakened. The urethra does not get the natural support that is needed. Far too many women experience that they are socially isolated and restricted by their stress urinary incontinence. So who does it affect? Approximately one fifth of all women over the age of 18 a third of women over the age of 65, and one quarter of all mothers suffer from stress urinary incontinence. So what kind of factors cause incontinence? Pregnancy, vaginal childbirth, severe chronic coughing, severe obesity, the menopause, chronic constipation, intensive athletic activity, and a weakened connective tissue. One fifth of all women can suffer from stress incontinence with spikes occurring around or after pregnancy and during or after the menopause. This is linked to the reduction in the production of estrogen around this time. The psychological impact of incontinence cannot be ignored. If incontinence is not managed well, the person with incontinence may experience feelings of rejection, social isolation, dependency, loss of control, and may also develop problems with their body image. Equally, carers can feel overburdened from the social changes and the financial burden of managing stress incontinence. Natural pelvic floor training is the gold standard approach and can yield fantastic results for light to moderate stress incontinence. Surgical intervention would normally only be indicated if the natural pelvic floor training approach had not yielded sufficiently good results. A common method could be tension-free vaginal tape. At this point, we can introduce the concept of the intravaginal device, both as a management solution in the interim and possibly to obviate the need for surgical intervention. So what is the Ephemia Bladder Support? It's a vaginal pessary device for women with stress urinary incontinence designed to reduce leakage. Ephemia is a class 2B medical device made from medical grade silicone. The starter set comes with all three size options and the device is supported by a gamut of published clinical studies. It is directly purchasable from mypelvichealth.co.uk or can be prescribed by the GP in most CCG areas. The Ephemia user profile is defined by women who want to live active lives free from urinary incontinence. The starter kit is supplied with three size options determined by the diameter of the support rings, either 30 millimeters, 35 or 40 millimeters. After being inserted in the vagina, the upper part of the two support rings support the mid urethra. So during pressure on the bladder, the urethra will be pressed towards the supporting rings and bend. This has the effect of reducing or stopping leakage altogether. The idea behind ephemia development all started with a simple question. What if you could apply the principles behind the most common surgical solutions to stress incontinence without having to perform the actual surgery? So the question became, 
can an intravaginal device replace the function of a mid-urethral sling? The rationale behind the TVT method is the integral theory. It focuses on the importance of the supporting tissues and ligaments situated around the mid-urethra rather than the bladder neck. Weakness or damage in these areas can lead the system to go into open mode when the intra-abdominal pressure rises upon effort, leading to unintentional urine leakage. It is no coincidence, therefore, that the distance between the support rings on the ephemia bladder support is more or less equivalent to the width of the mid-urethral sling. You can see this in the image, where the position and location of the support rings seeks to mimic the lifting and supporting effect of the mid-urethral sling. The length of the stem of the ephemia support ensures that the support rings are positioned correctly, exactly above the pelvic floor musculature. The advantages to the female user are numerous. The device is soft and comfortable, made from medical grade silicone. It can be washed and reused many times, minimum three months. It's very easy to insert and withdraw. Women can experiment in their own home. It's very reliable during training, exercise, social scenarios, and it's built on the same principle as TVT surgery which means it's an ideal alternative for those who are contraindicated for surgical intervention or who simply don't want surgery. So thus far we have a class 2B CE marked medical device that comes in three size options that's clinically proven to be safe and effective and can be used either up to 16 hours per day or as needed throughout the day for a period of at least three months. Urinary incontinence is a generic term for the involuntary loss of urine affecting one out of three women. There are different forms of urinary incontinence, the most common being stress urinary incontinence. During physical exertion, like running, exercising, or even sneezing or laughing, extra pressure is placed on the abdomen and therefore the bladder. The urethra closes with the help of the pelvic floor muscles contracting forward towards its ligaments, preventing urine leakage. However, with damaged ligaments or weakened pelvic floor muscles, the same pressure on the abdomen can instead push the system into open mode, causing urine to leak. This is stress urinary incontinence. Ephemia has been designed to significantly reduce urine leakage due to stress urinary incontinence. When inserted into the vagina, the upper part of the ephemia supports the urethra so it can prevent urine from leaking due to extra abdominal pressure. Soft and flexible, ephemia is made by medical-grade silicon and can be used daily or on occasions you expect to leak. Before use, the patient should make sure the bladder is empty and they can wash their hands with soap and water. They can take the device out of the packaging and rinse it with water. This also gives the surface less drag, making it easier to insert into the vagina or use a pH balanced lubricant. If standing, it may be helpful to bend the knees. The device is inserted into the vagina at a slight upward angle. Ephemia should be inserted sufficiently so that the handle presses against the perineum just covered by the labia. If possible, void the bladder before removal, grip the outer part of the handle and pull gently but steadily until the device comes out. Cleaning ephemia can involve any of the following methods. Rinse with water for immediate reuse, boil in water for 10 minutes and let dry in air, cleanse with water and soap, preferably a soap for intimate use, rinse thoroughly to remove all soap and let air dry. Do not use other methods of cleaning as they may damage the device. Contraindications obviously involve an allergy or sensitivity reaction to silicone. Pregnant ladies should not use the device because the effects have not been studied. Obviously do not use during menstruation. Toxic shock syndrome is a risk associated with blood and vaginal products, mainly tampons. Note that the risk of toxic shock syndrome is very low and has not been reported in association with ephemia. Pharmacists who've been presented with a GP prescription for either an ephemia starter set or single device can either order from iMedicare directly on orders at imedicare.co.uk or by telephone or via the specials division of their habitual wholesaler. Customers can also order directly from mypelvichealth.co.uk.
Ephemia's bladder support has proven to be effective in several studies. Firstly, in February 2018, a clinical study with 97 ladies was conducted. Then a post-market study with Aller Media was completed in January 2019. In March of that year, a follow-up study was conducted on the clinical study. And then in August of 2019, an ephemia during exercise CrossFit study was conducted. The 2018 clinical study involved 97 ladies with SUI and provocation involved coughing and jumping. The study was led by urogynecologist Aino Jonasson, senior researcher at the Karolinska University Hospital. The study result showed a median reduction of urine leakage of 77% when using the product where leakage was provoked by coughing and jumping. The study also showed that 75% of users would recommend the product to others and that 85% thought it was easy to use. In a follow-up study in 2019 of 28 women diagnosed with stress incontinence, 75% experienced an improvement in quality of life. 82% of the participants in the follow-up study said they would recommend Ephemia to a friend or colleague. In a post-market study with Aller Media, publicist for the Swedish magazine Femina 2019, 30 women with self-diagnosed SUI participated. 83% of the participants in this study experienced that ephemia eased their daily life. A total of 21 female athletes engaged in fitness or CrossFit who had issues with leakage whilst training or working out participated in two post-market studies in 2019. 86% of these ladies wanted to continue to use the Ephemia device after the study and 100% experienced a reduction in leakage. So let's hear from some of the users. Because of this device I can run again. Incredibly grateful. Surprisingly easy to use and with the best results. Works in the ski slopes and on horseback. Not more of a hassle than a tampon. The sense of security is fantastic. The sentiments speak for themselves. So let's summarize. Ephemia is a non-surgical alternative, self-managed, available on NHS prescription over the counter, indicated for ladies with stress urinary incontinence, can be used intermittently or up to 16 hours per day, reusable for three months. The design and shape ensures correct placement above the perineum, pelvic floor musculature, very reliable when exercising or working out, and soft and comfortable both to insert and whilst in use. Women can try it out in the comfort of their own homes without any aids. With Ephemia, your patients can live an active life without the concerns and limitations imposed on them by their unwanted stress urinary incontinence. So this brings our symposium to a conclusion. We'd like to thank you sincerely for your attention today. And if you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to iMedicare directly at any time.